So hi, I'm Chris Callahan and I'm an engineer and I was hired by UVM Extension and the Northeast Hop Alliance to design and develop a mobile hop picker and that's what we're going to look at today. The machine was intended to be portable and flexible um, to harvest a variety of different hop species at different stages of um, maturity. So the, um, the power was one of the first um, questions we had to answer and we did consider electric power for the um, harvester but opted um, instead for a hydraulic um, power and it's in this case powered by a PTO pump on the back of a tractor um, and the PTO pump provides hydraulic fluid at pressure to run hydraulic motors which are here here and several others on the machine uh, each motor has a specific purpose. Um, the way the hops come onto the machine are in the bind feed, and that's <coughs> the, um, the long arm off the back of the machine. Uh, has a chain inside a channel, and the chain is attached to a bind hook. And these have been stripped, but a, um, you attach a bind on the hook like that and as long as there's tension on the bind uh, for example when it's going through the machine it uh, remains on the hook so the bind um, hooks are drawn down the outside of the machine by this motor the bind feed motor um, all the motors have speed adjustments uh, on the um, to allow us to change the speed in this case of how fast the bind is fed into the machine so the bind is pulled around this corner by the bind feed chain and is drawn horizontally through the machine. The stripping fingers that you see are coming toward us uh, on the, um, in the middle section. Uh, so they strip the leaves and the hops off the bind as it's pulled through the machine. As after the leaves and the hops are stripped off of the bind, they fall onto a conveyor belt, a primary, our primary conveyor belt and are then dropped down to dribble belts. The dribble belts purpose are to separate the leaves from the hops and they are inclined and they use gravity to allow the hops to roll backward off of the belts <clears throat> while the leaves, as you can see, stick to the belt. And when these belts are moving, they're going uphill and it, they'll drag the leaves by and large uphill into the next dribble belt and the hops will roll backward um, downhill to the conveyor belt underneath. We have five dribble belts in the system right now. They're adjustable uh, both in terms of how far apart they are and at what angle they're set. We can also adjust the speed of the dribble belts. So those three things allow us to get pretty good separation using five belts and um, just gravity incline separation alone. Some systems will use forced air um, with fans to force the leaves onto the belts in order to get them to climb up the belt. Some will use vacuum on the underside in a porous belt in order to draw the leaves to them. Um, so far, this has worked quite well for us. So the hops roll downhill and end up on the conveyor belt underneath. <coughs> the rest of the uh, hop plant that's been stripped off the bind the leaves and the lateral stems are brought to the back of the machine where they land on this um, uh, conveyor. We call it the trash conveyor and um, the trash ends up back here on the back end of the trailer. So the hops uh, again are on this bottom belt here and are brought to the front of the machine where they're dumped onto the uh, transverse belt that brings them um, ultimately to a bin.